Hi everyone. The theme for this week is swirly nail designs. And joining us this week is Girly Nail 66 and LJ Natural Nails. This is the design that I came up with. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's get started. The base and top coat I use are by Maxis. The polish I'll be using today is by Zoya and it's called Toby. These are my all time favorites from Maniology to use every time I stamp. So we have the Ice Cube Stamper, which is super sticky. I really love this one. We have the Sticky Base Coat and the Smudge Free Top Coat. Today I'm using the Stamping Plate by Lena, Get In Line, number one. I'll be using Hit The Bottles Stamping Polish today, and it's called Join The Cerise Force. First, I'll be applying Base Coat. I added the um, wide brush to this polish because I really like um, the Zoya wide brushes. And if you have thin fingers, you can always just um, thin fingernails. You can always just tilt the brush up on its side a little bit like that and you can still still use it on your smaller fingers. Here is the second coat. I think this will look great in two coats. I'm going to use this swirly design right here. I picked up really good. That's a good stamping plate. I was worried about those thin lines not picking up so well, but it's wonderful. Now I'm going to put sticky base coat on all of my fingers. Now with a, um, with a design like that, that goes all over the entire nail, you want to make sure that you get all over your nail covered with the sticky base coat because whatever parts are not covered, the design will not stick to. While I'm waiting for that to dry a bit, I am just going to um, clean up the edges. Not that I think that these will get on my nails. I just don't like the way it looks. <laughs> uh, I know, it's so weird. Okay, instead of going, you know, this way with the um, stamp design, I think I'm going to go this way so each nail can look a little bit different. Can do a little bit of the different section with each nail. That's kind of fun. There doesn't appear to be too much cleanup. Um, didn't stick to my skin that much. I'm 
Now I'm just going to put a smudge coat top coat on to seal in the stamping design and that will help to protect it from any regular top coats. The smudge free top coat dries pretty quickly and so um, after that's dry then you can put on a regular top coat and that makes everything all super shiny and protects your nail from you know wear longer than the smudge free does so here is the finished manicure i i like how it came out I love that stamping plate. It's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.